Okay, so you've uh, got some sort of error message that says something like um, non-static method cannot be referenced from a static context or it might say non-static variable cannot be referenced from a static context and I will usually tell you what the name of the variable or method is that you're trying to access and the question is um, why won't it let you? Now um, this is not a simple syntax error like a missing semicolon or a misspelt word this is the all-time classic beginner's error and it's one that um, you've got to understand to make any progress in Java. Once you understand uh, why you're asking the compiler to do something that it cannot possibly do you'll be ready to make the next step forward in Java. What I'm saying is um, you will make this error from time to time but if you can't understand why it is an error don't bother trying to program in Java and I mean understand, you know, don't just parrot out the phrase you can't access non-statics from a static method because that isn't real understanding you've got to understand why you can't that's the important thing uh, right, the key to understanding this error is to understand what happens when you do um, instantiation now that's to say when you do new to create an object and um, here's a class called uh, fish with some static and non-static uh, methods and variables and um, here I've shown in blue a hypothetical model of what the code would look like in the memory of your PC and the important thing to note is what's missing right there are no non-static variables and that's important now each object you create using new will have its own uh, set of non-static variables but of course they will all share the same code whether that code is um, a static method or a non-static method doesn't make any difference and they all share the same static variables so when you do new fish carp like this down here it's only the non-static variables, which is just species in this case, which Java allocates space for and initializes. Now it won't copy the rest of this stuff in the blue box. There's only one copy of that. And the reference F1 will refer to the newly allocated area. Now look at the difference between um, static and non-static variables. Yeah, if I ask you what the fish count is you can tell me straight away because all you have to do is to go to where the fish class is in memory and just read the fish count, it's simple but if I ask you um, what the species is you can't tell me unless I tell you first what fish I'm talking about so I can say something like get fish count or um, int x equals fish count but I can't say get species I've got to say f1 dot get species or f2 or f3 dot get species I've got to tell you what fish I'm talking about you see the fish count is static there's only one for all fish objects but species is non-static each fish object um, you create has its own copy and um, in a static method if you don't say which object you're referring to when you call a non-static method or access a non-static variable you will get this compiler error now um, if you start thinking about it for a bit you'll see something's going on because a non-static method like this here gets species appears to have direct access to all of the instance data right? so it must be being supplied with an object right? even though you can't see it and that's exactly what's happening so how's it doing that? well it turns out that all um, non-static methods have a hidden parameter that's passed in and that parameter is um, a reference 
to an object of, uh, in this case, fish class. And when you do something like f1 dot get species, that f1 in front is being passed in as the hidden parameter. And that's what's being used here to obtain the species. It uses the reference to that thing that's passed in to get it. And it uses it to access any other instance data too. And if this method happened to call another non-static method in FISH, it would pass its hidden parameter onto that, so that the called method would have access to the same object. And uh, that's how it's done. Uh, though, of course, if you wanted the called method to use a different object, all you'd have to do is just put an appropriate object reference in front of the call, like down here. Now, um, of course, static methods um, don't have this hidden reference, and they have to do things the hard way. They're not supplied with a default object that they're working with. That's why, in the case of static methods, you've got to supply an object reference when you access non-static stuff. 